WebStorm is going to analyze your code as you type, so you'll see that this is not valid JavaScript. So you can see it's throwing errors already, things like expecting new lines, but it's nice because it contains it and contains those errors just to those lines where it's invalid. So if I type a valid function here, that's completely valid and there's no errors, and the errors just stay contained to this line. And you can see any errors that come up are shown here. So it'll show unresolved JavaScript, unresolved this, unresolved is, uh, and show you what all the errors are. And here it's just showing a warning that the function I created, the valid, the valid function, is not being used. And you can actually turn these, uh, these inspections on and off while you're working. So you'll, if you see this light bulb pop open, it's saying press Alt Enter. You can click here, but everyone actually uses Alt Enter. And once you hit Alt Enter, if you press to the right, you can say disable this inspection or just suppress it for the statement or try and fix it or jump into the inspection profile setting and change the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, disable it and you'll see that it's no longer gray, so it's no longer showing that it's unused. And you can always come down to this little guy in the bottom right hand corner to configure your inspection profile. So he, this, his name is Hector, he's Hector the Inspector, and he's where you configure inspections. So if you go to, I'm in JavaScript, you can see the vast amount of JavaScript inspections that we have. You can enable and disable all sorts of things. If you enable all of them, you will get a lot more, uh, a lot more hinting and validation being run against your code. Uh, especially if you enable JS hint and JS lint, you may get more than you want. I don't have linter installed right now, so I'm going to disable that one. But you can see by simply enabling that, I get more errors from JS lint saying that I'm missing spaces. And as you're going along, you can customize the the level of inspection to the the level that you want it to be at. It's also worth noting that these inspections work across pretty much every type of file we support. So we have inspections for Dart, we have inspections for HTML, for SAS, even for things like XML. So if you open XML, CSS, CoffeeScript, any of these type of files, you'll see the inspections that it'll run against the code and you can enable and disable them as you're working.